some time ago I did review this lure and I called this lure Perch Killer. In this episode I will review very similar lure, just quite a bit bigger and longer. And following the same pattern I believe it's smart to call this lure Big Perch Killer. As you can see those lures are quite long, actually they are about 8.5 cm in length I believe. Yes, and uh, that's not including the tail. And they are quite light lures as well. They weigh a couple grams. Let's quickly take a look how heavy they are. As you can see, 2.36 grams. So it means that those lures will be suitable for ultra light fishing as well because they are not heavy. The silicone itself, it's not heavy at all. I would say you would need size one hook or size one slash zero size hook for these lures because they are quite long as I mentioned. You can buy these lures in six different colors and some of these colors do have UV as for example I hope you can see now on the camera that this motor oil one has quite a bit of UV paint in it. I can't see anything with the black though. It might have some, it might not. The packaging is very simple, just a plastic bag. I have to mention that these lures are coming in the plastic bag without plastic tray, so it means that sometimes during transportation, because how they will be bent, etc., you might need to boil those lures to restore their shape a little bit. As far as I know, these lures are the copies of Lucky John, ballast lures in bigger size. If that is really the case, so lures are very very good and very very quality copies. Also it's very important to mention that I won't be able to show it for the camera but those lures do have some salt in them and also they do smell a little bit like a shrimp or sea fish something like that. As for the silicone itself which was used to create those lures it's quite good quality I would say. After you boil those lures the silicone becomes very very soft as you can see the lure just bends double no problem at all. Especially it seems the black lures are the softest ones I would say. And these lures are quite long as you can see. You can actually modify them. Because now they are active lures even though they are like a worm. But they are active because that tail will produce some vibrations whilst that lure will be retrieved in the water. And you can make this lure passive one just by cutting the tail off. Just like that. And what I like to do just to make a little cut if you like. And I caught plenty of perch just using these lures modified like that and presented just by dragging the lure on the bottom. The prices as of 2020 are as follows. It will be £2.73, $3.49, pence, Three euros and 19 cents for 20 lures in the pack. If you will decide to purchase a couple packs of these lures yourself, please use those links in the description below. As you can see it works beautifully on the jig head. Really, really nice action. Just amazing, really. And now on the chabrig, as you can see this lure wants to stand up for a while, which is very very interesting, even though it's not buoyant lure at all. Wow, amazing. And now on the drop shot. I have to say probably that's my favorite lure when it comes to drop shot fishing. Just look at all that action. The worm just dives nicely all over the place. And it will be it from me for today. I hope that you will find this video useful. And if you will decide to purchase a couple packs of these lures yourself, please use those links in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.